everybody, my name is Braden Anthony and you are watching Phantom Weather Channel and today we are talking storms, but not just storms, storms in the Midwest. I know, crazy, right? But this event's going to be a little bit different. The ingredients in place are setting the stage for a multi-day severe weather event beginning this weekend and lasting into parts of next week as well. And it all begins here on Saturday with a little slight risk across the central plains into the Missouri River Valley. Areas like Omaha, Nebraska, Kansas City, all the way eastward towards St. Louis are under the gun for severe weather Saturday, and especially Saturday evening into the overnight when we could see a squall line developing. This could get shifted and moved around a little bit, but this is the primary area where we are focused on severe weather early this weekend. And then the threat really wakes up when we get into Sunday here. Uh, Sunday, this is probably going to be the biggest day out of the three or four uh, that we are going to see. All severe weather hazards, which would include tornadoes, is going to be possible on Sunday. And the tornado threat should be the highest up here across the lower Great Lakes. So this does include Chicago, Milwaukee, eastward towards Lansing and Grand Rapids. If you do live in the, in the lower Great Lakes on Sunday, be watching the potential for all severe weather hazards, which again does include tornadoes. And then the threat shifts to the eastern Great Lakes into the mid-Atlantic once we get into Monday. And the east coast can get severe weather as late as Tuesday. So we're looking at three, maybe four days of continuous severe weather. And it looks like this could happen all over again later next week. So why are we seeing what we are seeing. Uh, well, we're going to have a trough developing. Again, a west to northwesterly flow pattern developing across the central plains into the Ohio Valley as we get this weekend into about Tuesday of next week here. This whole area of northwest flow, these purples and pinks from the northeast back into the central plains. Uh, this is where, remember that slip and slide analogy, the low pressure is just going to track along it here, bringing nonstop severe weather in its wake. In this case, a low is going to develop in the plains. It's going to move across the Midwest, cross through Wisconsin and Michigan and then eventually move northeast out into Canada as we get later into this weekend and at the same time it, we're going to have really high dew points in the area. It is going to be moist this weekend into early next week as well. These darker blues and purples, this is where we got upper 60s to 70s dew points here, uh, getting pulled in from the Gulf of Mexico, getting pulled in from the Atlantic Ocean here at the same time that that trough is pushing that low off to the northeast. And when that high wind shear, those winds turning with height, combined with the super muggy air mass, we're going to get the clash needed for severe weather. And this is the case all the way into Tuesday when the cold front moves out of the area. So we'll backtrack that a little bit so you can see it builds up and then gets pushed out of the way by that cold front uh, in the eastern parts of the United States. So throughout that entire time period, we're going to have widespread thunderstorm activity here. We're going to switch models over to the European model to take a look at our lightning flash density here. Uh, where we have these brighter colors, this is where lightning's detected, which we can infer. That's where this model is indicating storms are going to be. Uh, from the upper Midwest, all the way down into the Gulf Coast. Continuous thunderstorms as we get into about Tuesday of next week. By Tuesday, that's when the low is going to really move off into Canada. We're not going to see much of a lingering severe weather threat, but then another potential area of northwest flow develops in the central plains, and this could make it happen all over again later next week. But that's a story and a song for another time, because right now we have to take it one storm at a time. So the Weather Prediction Center uh, is, is paid attention to this. Uh, we're going to have a lot of heavy rainfall throughout the course of the next several days. Look at how these totals add up over the course of the week, especially if you live up here in the plains and upper Midwest. We're going to see several inches of rain uh, in these reds. You know, we're looking at two to four inches, these golds, over four inches of rain. That is going to be a strong possibility across areas like North Dakota, southern Minnesota, through Wisconsin, northern Illinois. That whole region right there could be looking at heavy rain fall over the course of this event and so we're going to be watching that carefully and that is why the weather prediction center has issued uh, excessive rainfall outlooks for the next several days as we get into early next week so we're watching the rain threat in addition to the severe weather threat very carefully before we might have to watch it again when wednesday and thursday kick off next week other than that that is all that is going on in the weather and this is Braden anthony signing off